infection, you know, how does it affect the, the, the microbiome in the gut and in the colon? I'm, you know, there's a lot of research in the microbiome and how exactly, you know, something like a nebulized hydrogen peroxide, what it does to obviously your microbiome in your nose is very important and your mouth is very important. How does it affect that or what does it do to the good bacteria? Does it help them proliferate and deal with sort of your anaerobic uh, bacteria? Give us your opinion on, on that. Well, the microbiome is huge. You know, that certainly outnumbers us, um, our own natural selves, you know, by multiple folds. You know, we were full of bacteria, full of viruses, and, you know, you know, you know I guess we're full of a lot of crap, right? Um, but, um, you know, one of the criticisms about using iodine or peroxide or ozone, well, what if it kills our own, our own beneficial bacteria, our own biome? That's just not the case. We know peroxide is peroxide, especially peroxide and iodine, especially. These are essential items. We can't live without either of them. Either we, either we get iodine in our diet, or we supplement with it, or we don't live since every cell needs and requires iodine. Um, and I've written about that extensively in my iodine book. And as far as peroxide goes, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, every cell constantly is bathed in peroxide and produces a peroxide, and there's more of it produced when we're sick. If this stuff was killing our own cells, we wouldn't even be here, you know. And it's just that's just not the case. I do not see the use of iodine peroxide or ozone damaging, disrupting, or negatively impacting our own microbiome anywhere in the body. It includes the nose, the mouth, the the mucosal lining of the you know back of the throat and the esophagus, and as well as the. 